Hello, my name is Michelle Delgado, and I'm a full-time artist who specializes in fabric arts and designer toys. And I'm Gino Ibarra. I'm a sculptor, and I also make designer toys. And we are both teaching artists who work with the El Paso Museum of Art through various classes and exhibit tours. We love working with the EPMA and are excited to bring you this fun distance learning project. Today, we'll be making an abstract aquarium diorama using simple supplies you might find lying around your living space. We will also be giving new life to old toys we found laying around the house by repainting them with fun bright colors and abstract patterns. Abstract art does not attempt to represent an accurate depiction of visual reality, but instead uses shapes, colors, and forms to achieve its effect. During this painting session, I mentioned two artists that were major figures in the world of abstract art. They are Jackson Pollock and Mondrian. Hope you all enjoy this project. Thank you. Okay, to start, we need our acrylic paints, any color of your choosing. We can also use tempera paints for easier cleanup. A variety of brushes, an old toothbrush, paint palette, two cups of water, one with soap, and one clean. Masking tape, any size will do. Two medium sized cardboard pieces with a variety of different sized cardboard. Have an adult help you cut these out. I'll be using gloves and optional a hair dryer to help speed up the process. Let's get our larger pieces and pit them together. The smaller piece will be our floor and the larger piece will be the wall. Now let's stabilize them so the wall doesn't fall back. Get some smaller pieces of cardboard and tape one end to the wall and the other side to the floor. Repeat on the other side. After stabilizing, we're going to start adding smaller pieces of cardboard to our structure. You want to tape one in, press, then tape the other. Then repeat the process all over. Remember, your pieces don't need to look like mine, so just feel free to express your creativity. Yeah, that looks good. Let's start painting. Pour our paints into our paint palette. This will be our base coat. The colors I went with today are gray and aqua blue. You can use whatever colors you want for this piece. Just make it your own. Thank you. 
Before we move on, let's clean our brush. Dunk it in the soapy water. Then our clean water. Dry with the paper towel. Repeat if necessary. Now let's get out our old toothbrush. You can see we have a piece of cardboard placed in the back. This is for catching any paint from spreading around and making a bigger mess. The colors I choose today are a tangerine and a metallic plum. For this process, we want to add some water to our paints. This makes the paint easier to speckle. I'm using gloves to keep my hands clean. You can use washable paints for speckling as well, if you want to have an easier time cleaning up. To achieve this technique, you want to run your finger across the bristles. This is why you need a wall behind this piece to catch all that paint. We can also throw paint at it. Let's go ahead and add some more details. Okay, that looks good to me. I think we're done. showing you how to repurpose toys or figures you may have laying around the house to use in your abstract cardboard diorama. We will be using some simple art supplies. You will need some acrylic paints in any colors you wish, paint brushes of various sizes, a palette for your paint, a glass of water to clean your brushes, as well as an old toothbrush, and a piece of sponge to create even more texture. Look for some wooden or plastic figures or toys you do not mind being permanently altered. Double check with an adult to see if it's okay to paint your chosen figures. I went with these small plastic sea creatures because they will go perfectly with the abstract cardboard aquarium. We are going to start by base coating each figure with a light neutral color. You can use colors such as white or beige, but I find that gray has better coverage for hiding the figure's original paint scheme. Even though we will be adding additional layers of colored paint, Try to paint this base coat in nice, even brush strokes. If the paint is going on too thick and you are getting lumps and bumps, you can always add a tiny bit of water to your gray paint. But be careful not to add too much water or your paint will start dripping off the figure. What I like to do is paint the tops of all the toys and set each one aside to dry. Then once the tops dry fully, carefully flip them over and paint the bottom. By painting each figure this nice solid gray, you have now created a blank canvas that is ready to add fun, abstract designs and colors to. Now that the base coat has fully dried on both sides, I am going to start painting each one with a different solid color. I chose some bright bold hues to start with. I made sure to pick colors that were different from the color of the diorama itself. Doing this means the sea creatures will seem to pop out at you because there will be a contrast between the background and the figures. I 
I did, however, decide to paint the octopus in shades of blue so that it would have a cool camouflage effect when it was placed on the diorama. When they are all painted, you will once again let them dry fully before adding the final details. Okay, let's add some abstract fun to each piece. For the whale, I'm going to add white polka dots. A good way to do this is flip your paintbrush over and use the end to dip dots onto the figure. I am placing the dots in random spots, and there's no wrong way to do this. Just have fun with it. For the starfish, I will be using a variety of colors and sponging them onto the figure. Get some paint on one of the tips of the sponge, dab off any excess paint, then apply it to your figure. Make sure to use a clean corner for each new color so your colors do not all end up blending into a mushy brown color. Repeat the process until you're happy with how it looks. Next up, I will be color blocking. This is where I paint solid areas of color on different parts of the figure. I am sticking with all metallic paints for this walrus so it's nice and shiny. For the dolphin, I decided to use a combo of abstract shapes and primary colors. I am starting with some simple blue square-like shapes. Then I will add in some abstract red triangles. And to complete the primary color scheme, some yellow dots. I am also adding in some black graphic lines in between each shape as a tribute to the artist Mondrian. What I did to this side, I will repeat on the other side. For the octopus, we will be using our old toothbrush and it will get messy but it's lots of fun. Get the paints that you want to use and mix in some water into each palette. As you can see, we need the paints to be nice and watery. After dipping the toothbrush into your first color, release your inner Jackson Pollock and splatter paint all over your figure. You do this by running your finger along the top edge of the toothbrush. Repeat with each color until you're happy with the look. 